oh yeah, we shut it down. Three, just to make sure you ready. Four, let them know that we run this town. Okay guys, back on these carburetors. Had several comments and questions about what I exactly really mean by pedo. I refer to just pedo as just kind of pressure or whatever, haven't really explained that I guess. I'm going to break that down a little bit for you guys. The pedo pressure comes from the turbo. The pedo is essentially, it's a pedo tube that's in the charge pipe that allows boost pressure to be fed to the carburetors, <coughs> excuse me, at a little bit higher pressure than what the boost pressure in the intake plenum is going to be. That's the key. As long as the pedal pressure, <coughs> excuse me, is a little bit higher than the boost pressure in the plenum, it will allow the fuel to flow into the jets and everything will be good. It will work at normal vacuum not vacuum pressure, vacuum, essentially vacuum pressure, but turned into boost, it will provide the exact, almost the exact same amount of fuel either way. Let me show you. This is my pedo tube. This is just kind of set up to show you guys. So essentially, exhaust gas comes into here, comes down, spins the hot side of the turbo, the exhaust goes out. Air comes in here, spins up, comes out the tube, and will end up going into the carburetors through the intake plenum once I get all that set up. It's still bolted on the bike outside. I haven't really taken the bike apart yet, but doing some testing, getting some stuff figured out. Getting real close though here. I still need to take that engine apart, because there is two engines now. This is a whole new setup, so <laughs> it's gonna get better. So essentially, let me show you guys here, that's just a quarter inch tube that's inside of this tube. Okay, it's got a couple fittings. Let me pop it off here. See the holes in that tube? Those are the boost reference holes. They reference the boost from the turbocharger the boost comes out of here, will go straight into here, and those two tubes will see the amount of boost that it makes. It will go to each side, that's why there's two holes, some for this side and some for this side. It splits it off equally, it balances it in the middle because of the pedo magic. Some goes here, some goes here. I have it set up on the carburetors now to where two lines come down. I have the mounting plate taken off so we can see a little better here. As you see now. So let me show you guys. This side comes up here, goes in right here. Can't see them. Yeah, there we go. Goes in and it splits directly off to this carburetor here. So these two share this side. This one comes up, goes in right there, goes through this carb, splits off to this carb, so these two share pressure from this side. The line here that would normally be going across to these two, as you see I have it blocked off with a vacuum plug, just I have this little one on here right now just for testing. I actually just got these, some, some nice rubber vacuum plugs to be able to plug that off. It's probably going to get glued on there because I don't ever want it to come off under pedo pressure. There will be pressure in here. Whatever pressure becomes out of the turbo, the pedo will see the most of it. The pedo pressure will always remain higher than everything else. So those tubes have to be good they can't they can't come off under boost they can't wiggle loose they have to be good a little bit of glue or epoxy when you slide them on it locks them on there for life put a zip tie on them or a clamp so that they can't expand under boost and slide off they're good to go doesn't take much to hold them just make sure they're on there make sure they're on there <laughs> make sure they won't slide off 
So, this is just kind of a setup for you guys so you can see it. Let me pull this loose. As you see here, I make these. It's a quarter inch tube with two holes drilled in it. These holes are actually just a bit small. They need to, be, they need to actually be the exact same size as the tube. So I'm going to make these eventually, I'll whittle them out a little more to be quarter inch. And then if you see here, let me see if I can get it out. Let me use my other hand here. Yeah, move it a little bit. There, a little more. There we go. Okay, so there's the tube. And as you see, the air can go through from both sides. It's hollow. And these, I machine out. If you guys can see in there. It's perfectly machined to be a quarter inch on the inside of this fitting. Tapers down just a little bit so that the air from the tube... See the tube, how it's got a little bit of wall diameter there? So that wall diameter meets up with the inside of the fitting and the air flows perfect. You just need to drill out the fitting. I use a, uh, it's not a, a drill bit, it's basically a reamer to be able to ream the hole out to exactly the diameter of the tube so that when it slides together, let me see if I can show you guys here. When it slides together, it's absolutely perfect. Slides in there, fits perfect, won't fall out. And then essentially when I finally assemble this into the charge pipe, or it actually mine goes into the plenum, mine uses the threads on these fittings, but you can assemble this into a charge pipe and essentially just slide this all together. See if I can get it in there. There we go. Slide this all together, slide that fitting on this side, and it will essentially hold itself all together. So there you go, if you guys can see. If this, this tube is just a mock-up, really, just to show you guys. If I would have drilled this out a little better on either side, I could have actually screwed those fittings in, slid that in, a little bit of epoxy on the tubes on either side. When you slide the tube together, a little bit of epoxy in there, slide it together, that thing's locked in place forever and won't ever move, I promise you. Good old epoxy nowadays. It doesn't take much. Just a little slight bit. Or not even epoxy. I like at times using uh, not the super thick, but the medium thick super glue. Super glue works great for very tight fittings like that. Anything that fits super tight that just needs to be sealed, super glue works perfect because it seals it off 100% and it really won't let it move. Some epoxies are better because, well, that's super glue too. When you warm it up, you can warm it up just barely with a torch. It'll release the glue and you can just slide it right apart. So if you ever do need to take it apart, it's not a problem. But once again, mine will use the threads on the fittings. It'll thread into the bottom of the plenum. The, that's the, the smallest part of the plenum is the very bottom where the charge air comes in. That allows the pitot tube to work the best. The, the pitot tube needs to be put, it, it's, it needs to be put in the smallest part of the whole assembly. It doesn't matter if it's in the turbo or if it's in the intake plenum, as long as it's at the smallest part and it can restrict the most air. The, plen the pitot tube needs to provide just a little bit of restriction to be able to gain air over everything around it. That's how it works. To my knowledge, I'm not the brightest person ever, but I've done a bit of this. It seems to work from everything that I've ever tested and done. So I think we're okay. That's how that works. That's how this is going to work. The bowl stays sealed down here. These tubes split off. That's sealed. There's a fitting down here on this end. It's not actually drilled through. From the factory, this fitting is here, but the air doesn't come out of it. So that one can stay open. It's, it's not open. It can stay just like it is. It's fine. So now pretty much all we need to do is get these bowls cleaned up. Get some new goodies in there to seal all the fuel off. Because... The fuel and the boost must stay in the bowl, so the, the seals have to be perfect on the bottom, which, if they're not perfect, fuel is going to leak out, and you don't want that either, so just get new gaskets, and they'll be good to go. Then once we get some boost going through it, get them fine-tuned, that's really all there is to it, guys. It's not that hard once you figure out the process. Figure it out. Make it happen.
Go fast. Going fast is the best. It's the best part. It's a lot of fun, guys. I promise you. Like, share, and subscribe. Way more to come. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I want it to. I want to. I want to make all this happen. I'm trying. I'm doing everything I can to try and make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs>